You want us? Uh, no, not absolutely not. Um, just just because you know we had that streak going and then of, of beating them and then uh, you know we were the guys to uh, to, to kind of lose that streak and you know I I've always grew up a Hawkeye fan and always you know grew up hating the Cyclones and you know. <laughs> But I guess that's that you know that's part of the game and and you know props off to them you know but um, we have a new opportunity this week and we have you know ten more games left so um, there's a lot of upside and a lot of things to look forward to. Brian, are you good at are you good at ignoring the outside noise? Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, you know, I kind of learned to stay off Twitter and Instagram. Um, you know, when I need to and and um, you know, I, I, in my freshman year um, I didn't and that really got the best of me. But um, you know, I've. I've learned to kind of get away from it because, you know, most people tweeting stuff or sitting on their couch drinking beer, drunker and piss, you know, eating potato <laughs> chips. So, I mean, well, why do I care what this person thinks? You know what I mean? Spencer's really good at ignoring that. Right? Very great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> great at it. Yeah. Is it sure as somebody who grew up in central Iowa, you might know a few friends who went to that school in Ames. Did they text oh, yeah. you at all? Uh, I had a couple of them, but, you know, they usually, they usually cheer for me and they were cheering for me on on uh, Saturday and you know they gave me a text you know uh, tough loss but you know uh, we support you and stuff so that was nice to see but yeah I know you kind of answered this a little bit because Spencer's roommate good buddy um, is it hard to kind of imagine kind of what he he goes through not only as a quarterback but trying to deal deal with this crazy outside world about people loving you then hating you then thinking mm -hmm. you're the worst is it, it is, how, how would you respond to all that yeah uh, you know I don't know to be honest with you I, I can't even imagine it to be honest um, because I've gotten on Twitter, I've seen some of the stuff, and I don't think uh, I don't know how well I'd cope with that, to be honest with you. Um, just because I, I, I guess it's natural for me to uh, kind of feed off the people around me, and, and um, you know, some people's opinions matter, and some some others don't. But it's really hard sometimes when everyone is is negative towards you. So um, he does a great job of of just focus on what he needs to focus on. What's it like getting? What's it like getting to see Kerry back out there after missing so much time last year? Yeah, it's it's cool seeing him run around and, and having fun. You know, he, he brings a lot of juice and energy, um, especially in the DB room. And, and he, he's always positive, and, and he, he's just a fun guy to be around. So he brings us up in, in the room. I want to ask you about Quinn. Um, kind of coming into the year, he was uh, you know, a new guy. Everybody wondered about him. And thus far, he he's, seems to have done a bang-up job. I mean, what, what do you think about him? How has he performed, and, and how has he fit in? Yeah, he, he's done a great job, and it started – um, you know, this past winter and, and in the spring ball, you know, he's he's really taken the game and, and um, you know, the film that he watches and, and the, the way that he approaches, um, you know, his preparation for the game um, is why he's able to play so fast and, and, and be so successful. Um, you know, he's really a student of the game. So he seemed a lot like Jack before him. I mean, not mm -hmm. built the same way, not close, but, yeah. but just mentally and being in the right place mm -hmm. and then arriving. In ill humor, as they would say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. It started with um, you know Gervas, Jake mm -hmm. Gervas, when I got here, and then went to Kerner, and then went to Quinn. So um, you know, it's it's kind of that um, you know student of the game that's been passed on uh, through generations, I guess. So. Yeah.